hello everyone thank you for joining um in today's video we are going to um learn something about hotspot analysis so um when we talk about hospital analysis it simply means a uh, a place that is more prevalent to uh, any um, disease or anything that we are working with so when we take the uh, covid 19 for example uh, some places were delineated for a uh, a high COVID-19 cases, so that will be the hotspot, and then the place that have a lower COVID-19 case will be the cold spot. So, um, in this video, I have some variables that um we are going to work with. So, um, as we all can see, I have under five mortality rate, I have SHS enrollment, and then I have unemployment rate. So, um, in hotspot analysis, uh, we either you want to find the changes uh, from uh, two different years um, and in my in this example I have um, SHS enrollment for um, 2010 and then I have SHS enrollment for 2010 so we are just looking at a uh, changes in um, changes that occurs from 2010 to 2021 that's the population housing census so um, as we can see I have my district here and then I have all the variables here so um, before we can calculate for um, a hospital analysis and then um, if we are specifically doing for changes that okay between the years we have to calculate the change here so we have the change in room that is the change that the 2021 minus the 2010 that will be that will give us the changes that okay between those years so um after calculating for your um, change, then we have to um, open our ArcGIS Pro to um, run the analysis. So after after getting your data, we have to um, we have to save 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 the name and then get our shape file for the area. So in this video, um, I'm using a Masante region that's Ghana shape file to. Um, uh, do this um, video so I have my shape file and then I have already saved uh, my my um, my data so let's quickly open ArcGIS Pro and then run the analysis so um, this is the interface for ArcGIS Pro and then um, if we, we want to add the data we will just go to map and then you see this plus button here add data just click on it and then uh, we look for our center region shifter. So this is where I have shaped, I have saved my shifter. I have um I've saved it at this piece in new volume target. So we just look for our center region shifter first. So I, I have shaped, I have saved my shifter here. So as we can see, we just click on it and then click OK. It will upload here. So as um, we all can see, this is the center region shifter contain all the 43 districts and then the next step is um, upload the the excel file that contain our variables so we just look for our excel file i have my at desktop so i'll just look for it here okay so this is my updated hospital analysis shift file that's the hospital analysis process so you just click on open and then you click on this one and then you click ok ok so if you look at the content we have our sensor region here and then we have our um our excel sheet here so um before we can run the analysis we have to join the the district to the um the data that we are working with so be before you, you can do this, you have to right click on the the, um, the Asante region shift file. We right click on it. We go to join and relate. Then we go to our joints. So in the add joint uh, interface, the input future does that automatically select Asante region. That's correct. And then the input field will be name. That is the name that um, we use here. So as as you can see, we have already saved the name that the district name. So anytime you are working with, make sure you save the district name as name or district name. So so we just choose the name, and then the joint table is the sheet that's where our data has been stored, and then the joint table field is the district name. Then you click on validate joint either 
they're going to match it, ma match all the region or not so we click on validate and we can see so the main thing that you have to check here is this you check checking for co coordinality that's the one-to-one -one join so as you can see a one-to-one -one joint has much 43 reports that's the joint in relate has been successfully done then you click on ok so after clicking on ok the 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 Asante region shift file and then the excel sheet has uh, joined successfully so the next step is we go to view we click on geo processing tool and then we go to toolbox so in the toolbox you look for special statistics tool so in the special statistics tool you look for mapping and cluster so in the mapping and cluster you just have to click on this drop down and then you look for our hotspotter and that's the getis or g so you click on the getis or g okay so the input future you just have to put your sense region and then um the input field the input field is the um the change the change that um, i was talking about so this is the change that we are using but we can you you can also run hotspot analysis for each year we can run it for 2010 we can run it for 2021 and then after that then we look for the change but in this video we are we are doing it for only the changes so as you can see we have our sheet here that's the and under 5 2010 under 5 2021 enrollment 2010 enrollment 2021 unemployment 2010 and then unemployment 2021 then we have our changes here this is the change and i have already said that the change was calculated using 2021 minus 2010 so um, we have our change here then we, so the fir first one let's do for the change for under five mortality so we just click on under five mortality then uh, we we leave the rest for that's the first distant band that's the most used but we can also change it to the k nearest neighbor the but this is the most appropriate one that we always used and then the distant band threshold just leave all the fault and then click on run so we just wait for it to run okay great so as as we can see the hospital analysis has been run successfully so if you look at this one you can see um the the cold spots the hot spot and no significant so the white portion on the on the map is the no significant that's is not high it's not low that's not significant so as you can see we have a cold spot that's a 99 confidence so as you can you look in the middle of the map we can see we have the cool spot here that's 99 confidence and then we have our cool spot that's 95 here and then we have our um hotspot 95 and then you, you, as you can see we don't have any uh, hotspot 99 confidence here so if you click on the um on the histogram here you right click on it and you click on open okay so as we all can see we can see our histogram here which has already been calculated you can see our median our mode and then standard deviation and then um if you look at this place you can see uh, we have our minimum maximum sum everything this is what we are going to use for the analysis so um let's calculate for the next one so the next one we have um uh, so the same process you go to your view the same process you go to view um your processing then you click on your hotspot analysis so the first the first one we did it for uh, under five mortality so the second one we are going to do it for um either unemployment or shs enrollment so let's do for shs enrollment that is the change enrollment and then we leave the rest default and click on run
okay so this one we can see um, our data has been calculated here so if you look at this one we can see our hotspots that is the um, SHS and grooming that is the hotspot that is the, uh, the middle of the city and then we have our cool spots our cool spot 95 confidence here and then here and then the no significance are uh, the white portion on here so um we have successfully um, calcul um calculated for the uh, under five mortality and shs and women slavery the unemployment rate so the same process input you select your center region the input field you just look for your change of unemployment then you leave the rest defaults and then and then the output field you can change the name to um, any name that you want so this one we can change it to unemployment so the name you can change to any name that you remember okay so just click on run as you can see this one we didn't change the name so after calculating to you can change the name on the table of contents so it's nothing a big deal so as you all can see we have our unemployment to here so as you can see the unemployment rate is here and then uh, okay so the rest are here so the unemployment we can see where the cost spot is and then where we will find the cool spot so the red represent the cost spots that's the 99 percent confidence and then the um the orange re represent the the whole spots with 95 percent confidence and then the cool spots you can see the deep blue represent the 99 confidence and then the light one represent the 95 confidence so this one too we can open the histogram and then val validate all the um the histogram so as we can see we have our histogram here the mean median and then the standard deviation so um after doing all this um we'll be going ahead to um calculate for our moran i so in the moran i we can search we we can search moran i here so as you can see we have our special autocorrelation moran i so we just have to click on it or better still we can use the geoprocessing tool to find our moran i so we have our special autocorrelation that is the moran high so the moran i will be calculating it for each each of the variable that we are using that is the unemployment the shs enrollment and then the under five mortality so um this one we the um, the special autocorrelation we have um our so this one we are validating if the 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 calculation that we did are clustered or not so the input field we are using um let's start with the unemployment so we start on with the unemployment that's the input future class and then the input future um uh, what do you call it? the input field the input field will be using um change unemployment okay so generate so make sure we always check on generate report that's where we are going to see either is clustered or not clustered so you check on the unemployment uh, the generate field you check on it and then uh, you leave the rest default and then you click on run okay so um it has already it has been calculated as if you don't uh, be scared of the warning so you see the distance for geographic coordinates the greenness and second as the geographical because of some um uh, uncertainty that's why we are getting the the warning here so after calculating for your moral high if you want to validate it either is clustered or not we click on this view details as you can see we have our view details down here you click on view details and then this um this interface will open we have a drop down here we click on the drop down and then you find the link this is the link so you just click on the link and then as we all can see we have a, a special auto correlation report so the, this is the more running there's the z score and then the p value and then we have our significant level so as 
here's the most important thing that I want everybody to know. We have our dispersed random and cluster. So what we are doing, we are looking either uh, the data has been clustered or, or not. So as you can see, the data has been clustered and then we have our random here, our significant that's the host spot and our significant that's the cool spot and then as you come here we have our that's the global moral summary that is this score and then the rest i was talking about so we have already calculated this one and then uh, we, we 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 can do it for each each of the classes to see either they have been clustered so let me do the next one and then let's see if that one too was clustered or not so we have our changing moments here then make sure this has been checked then we click on run okay so the same process the same process we click on view details and then we go to um, our link and then open the link so as we all can see this one too has been clustered okay so this all that you have to know about um uh, clustered uh getting scored and then uh hotspot analysis so we we can see uh during the COVID 19 era some places in the world was uh some uh, more resources and activity were directed to that place this is what uh, they used to um determine either a place is a place have a more uh, predominant disease than the others so uh, as we can see yeah, we can use Ghana for example some cities in Ghana like uh, Asante region and then Greater Accra region which is which is most uh, populated area was uh, receiving much attention it's not because uh, those places have been developed or something that's where the the, uh, the disease were uh, more prevalent so um, this is the method that we use to uh, determine either a place is clustered or not. So, um, thank you very much for joining the video. And then please don't forget to share, subscribe, and like. And then, if you have any question, any complaint, or any suggestion, please you can drop it on the comment section. I will reply to each and every message in the comment section. Thank you very much for joining this video.